Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Vlogmas Day 16 and I thought today um, I will show you guys what I do for like my quick sort of face makeup when I'm like trying to run out the door and I'm not too focused on like apparently right now I'm not too focused on what I look like. I need to do a lot but um, yeah like what I do for like a quick five minute face or it usually ends up being like a few minutes longer but so I prior to starting this I put this nude by nature um, perfecting primer I usually use this one just because it's light and um, when I'm wearing light makeup I don't I don't find like it does like create like it helps hold the makeup but it doesn't give you like with other primers it tends to fill they tend to fill things in this one it just gives a nice like sort of clean base and yeah so then next up, usually what I do is today I'm using Super CC. This is from Physicians Formula and this is their Color Correction Care CC Concealer. And I'm just gonna put a bit of this under my eyes. And like I'm not gonna get too crazy. I'll just sort of like go to spots that need to be concealed a bit. So we'll go under my eye because this look like if I'm just running out and that I'm not doing anything for YouTube or like my Instagram this is just more and less I'm not worried too much about full coverage just get the spots that are the worst and then just blend a bit underneath the eyes just to I have really bad dark circles, so I'm just getting rid of them. So I am going to take a brush like this, and I'm going to take Nude by Nature's um, Loose Foundation. This is an ivory, so this is our powdered foundation. I really love a powdered foundation um, where you don't have to worry about... Um, like a foundation, everything, it, it, a powdered foundation, what I'm trying to say is a powdered foundation is great if you're on the go or whatever. So basically, so I'll just show you guys this, it's got the net and then I just go like this and I just swirl it around and really make sure I get under the eye. Once again, there's not gonna be a ton of coverage and that's fine because I'm not really looking for a ton of coverage. I'm just looking and then I'll go over my sometimes my ears get really red and I'll just bring it down Then we'll go up to the forehead so I just keep dabbing and like I'm swirling and on my forehead I like to take like a smaller brush like this and get really under the eyes and I like to like dab it in there so I tend to look up or shut my eyes and dab it right in there and then just so this is the micro brow pencil and this is in um, Auburn um, I don't normally like do the like use this when I'm doing a full face like full face of makeup just but when I'm doing more of like a natural, like my five minute face, and I just keep it light. Now, this is like a little trick I learned. Um, I now do my bronzer. So what I do is, so I'm using e.l.f. This is their sun-kissed um, like bronzer. Got this from the Dollar Tree. And we're just gonna do our three backwards three. So this is a technique I seen a while back a long time ago for applying bronzer and you just basically or just I call it the three backwards three and I'm doing like a lighter bronzer because I don't want anything crazy where I have to be blending like crazy I might have to blend a bit but nothing too crazy So now what I do is I like to load the brush up and then do this. Just go over my eyelid. 
just because I don't want to worry about craziness on my eyes like doing I'm not even gonna do an eyeliner this is more like if I was going to the beach or just running out or I wore this type of makeup for Christmas dinner yesterday so you just want a more fresh look now we're gonna do a blush and um, I decided I want to do this color lipstick so I wanted something a little bit like that mauvey purpley light purpley color so I actually chose a matte just because I didn't want to be crazy sheeny like everything's like shimmery and shiny so I'm just gonna load up Go down on my cheekbone, go up in the hair. I like to bring it up in the hairline just a bit. So, I am gonna blend that a bit. I'm gonna take my, usually I'm a bit quicker, but because I'm talking to you guys, it's taking a little bit longer. But I'm gonna take my e.l.f. blending brush. You guys, if you guys have seen me on my lives and stuff, And just blend in nicely want um, you're finding that you might look a little too tanned because on your face or whatever this is what I do a lot of times I load my brush up and I just sweep over my neck we're gonna do a bit of a highlight because I love a highlight so this is the brush I use for highlight it's like supposed to be a setting brush I believe but I love using it so I just lightly put this on kiss the top of those cheekbones and if you have to because you don't like the way it's like if it's that's too much like right now to me that's too much for the look I'm going for I'm gonna blend it out but I'm gonna go lightly underneath my brow bone we're just gonna blend that out and I also like to do over top of my cupid's bow and you can just touch up wherever you think you need, might need a little extra now I'm going to put the so what I used sorry for a highlight was paradise fluff and this is from NYX and this is candy cloud that I just put on and now I'm gonna put NYX intense butter gloss I'm not even gonna line my lips because if I'm going out and about, I don't really care. I just want to put something nice on my lips. And I usually stick to glosses because they're like no fuss, no muss. Like you can just... And nothing too crazy dark or bold or matte. Use Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray from Essence. Spray it. I like to spray it before I do my mascara. So I am using Maybelline's Total Temptation. This stuff is awesome. The brow, the brush is like super thick. I just do my top lashes. I don't prime them because I just want to keep the lashes light. But this is a nice thick mascara. So it's going to do but putting a primer on would just make my lashes look bigger than that. And this is more for a light look. Like a natural looking um, eyeliner and just go on the waterline. Go in a bit. I like to go in just like slightly right there. Just sort of like makes it look a little bit finished. So that is Vlogmas Day 16. We'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 17.